What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Lisa, aka Curly Girl. I know it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video, but I'm back. So today is wash day for me, so I figured let's record, right? But before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. So today I am using products from my, I think this is my either November or December curl box. Right here. Um, these products are from Made Beautiful. It's beautiful. Hello. It is from Made Beautiful, the Inspire line. So I will show you what's in here and then I will start with my wash day. So first off, we have here the Pre Poo Detangler right here. I hope you guys can see it. <clears throat> Let's see, it says before shampooing hair, apply generous amount and massage into hair, detangle using a wide tooth comb and rinse. I am going to use this, but I don't know if I'll be doing the detangling, just depends on what kind of slip it has. So we shall see. Next, we have the creamy coconut milk cleanser. It has shea butter, honey, coconut oil, coconut milk, chamomile, and sage. It says to cleanse and detangle. And it has one, two, three, four, five different hair types that it's good for. I'll try to hold it and maybe see it. Okay, let's check the smell. Well, let's check the smell. It's driven out. Oh, it smells good. It has like a soft, a very soft scent, which I like because <clears throat> if it's too strong, I will have a sinus headache. If you have sinuses, you know you don't want any parts of that. Also, we have the creamy coconut conditioner. Oh, let me show you guys the consistency of it. You can see it. It's creamy. It's kind of light. It's not very heavy. Here you go, I'll show you. Next, let's see, we have the hydrating jelly. Shea butter, coconut oil, chamomile, and sage. It's to define the fruits. Excuse me. And this, oh, it has a light scent as well. And I do a lot of wash and go, so. Empty your mind. I'm inter interested in seeing if this is going to work. It has a very light, kind of watery consistency to it. So we will see what happens with that. Next, what do we have? Let's see here. We have the Nourish Leave In Conditioner, Shea Honey, Coconut, and Mango. Oh, this has a good set of sticks. It's a little bit stronger, but it's not bad. Let's see if I can get some out. Let me check the consistency for this one too. Um, if you can see it. That's kind of a greasy consistency to it. You're a bit in my hair, right? Don't waste anything. Next, we have the co-wash cleaning conditioner. So I guess if you do a co-wash, there we go. If you co-wash your hair in the middle, in the middle of your washes, you can use this. Uh, it has about the same consistency as the other products. And last but not least, I'm gonna put this box down. We have the curly temple balm because we all want those fleeky edges, right? I don't really do too much to my edges. Maybe I need to start trying. I don't just brush them out. I don't do the whole thing. Maybe one day I'll try that. When I do a puff, so let's check the consistency. Oh, it's not too bad. It's nice and thick. Let's see if I can get it off. So I'll be interested in seeing how this works. Once I've washed and styled my hair. So what we're going to start off doing is using the pre-poo detangler. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my hair and it says to leave it sitting for 20 minutes. If you have a coarser texture of hair, it doesn't say if you don't have a coarser texture, but it's about 10, 15 minutes so it doesn't hurt. So we're gonna start by putting this in. We're going to be got this. So you're supposed to add it into your hair as such. And as you guys can see, I did color my hair back to the pink or magenta. Just depends on you. Know, everybody has a different name for it. And I seem to like this color better. I'm starting to want this color more than the blonde. Because I guess because it's winter time. And my hair was just feeling really dry and crunchy and I just don't like my hair to feel that way especially in the back of my hair because it is very thick and coarse in the crown of my hair I just don't like the way that feels so I think this may be my go-to color we shall see I do like to change it pretty often depending if I find something nice and also you have color treated hair, especially when you put these kind of colors, you know, some people put purples and blues and lavenders and a different color, pink and greens. The one thing with coloring your hair is maybe these bright colors, it tends to stain. Right now, everything that I wear <laughs> in the neck of it, it is pink. If I run my hands through my hair and touch something it turns pink and I don't know if you can see right now but my nails were like a white glitter. This hair I like water. It was like a white glitter but now I don't know if you can tell these three nails here in my thumb have turned like a lavender which I guess is fine because it matches the other fingernail. But it was white, so just keep that in mind when you're putting those bright colors in your hair that it does bleed. See here. This doesn't feel bad. I mean, it just kind of feels like a pre pool or just like a conditioner. I'm putting in my hair. And what I'll probably do is, while I'm preparing to get in the shower, I will just put a plastic bag on and let it sit for a little while while I prepare for my shower and get in and everything. Before it's time to wash it out. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really trying to get all this cold. Um, I'm not going to film me washing my hair, but I am going to use the cleanser and the conditioner and I will let you guys know what I think about it, if it has good slip or if it's kind of stripping my hair. And I'm looking at the bottles now, it does say, it does say no sulfates, no parabens. So that's good for you guys that do care about not having that in your products. Sometimes I don't mind depending on what kind of shape my hair is in. I do have some that have some in it. So. so, I am going to start trying to do more videos. I know I kind of fell off. I've just been really busy. I work and I also have a t shirt line. So sometimes that kind of consumes me because I like to make sure my customers have what they need in a timely fashion because it's just really me and my husband working on it and he also has a fashion line which I'll probably put everything down in the description if you guys want to check it out but I am going to try to set away, set away time so that I can do more recording and put that in my schedule that may be something I need to do maybe on like my Friday nights or early Saturday mornings 
getting all of this in here. I'm checking in the mirror to make sure I get in the mirror to make sure that I get everything covered. Did you guys have a good holiday season? Are you glad it's 2018? I know I am. I was kind of over 2017, right in September or October sometime. I was already over it. So, I'm hoping that all you guys have a great 2018 and that you set goals for yourself and you accomplish those goals. I know sometimes you can set goals for yourself and you can kind of fall off. But even if you do, you just pick right on up where you left off and go right back to it. I personally get back into the gym into the gym because I like to eat and I'm not gonna stop eating. I probably need to make better food choices sometimes, but you know, I'll work on that. Me and my dear friend Pinterest. I'm from Louisiana, so you know we were raised with good food and empty good cooking. My mama cooked just about every day, every other day. We had something good to eat. We got home from school and I guess I kind of picked that up with cooking for my family. I don't make as much rice as my mom did, but I do cook. So if you're on my Instagram and you're checking out my stories sometime, you'll see that I do cook a lot. And I probably will make better food choices sometimes, but like I said, we will work on that in 2018 because I didn't need to drop some weight. This double chin is not cute. I have to contour to the gods for that. So it looks like I have my whole head covered here. And as you can see, I have some hair, but I don't know if you can tell that my hand is pink. You can see that or not. So that's what I'm talking about with that. So, but all right, my hair is covered in the pre poo. I'm gonna put my hair in a bag and prepare to take my shower and shower and wash my hair. I don't know why I can't talk today. Anyway, I will come back in a towel. It's so a t-shirt. Right. Cotton. I'm going to use it to dry my hair with anyway. So I will come back after I have washed and shampooed my hair and I will show you how I style it and see the results of the products. Be right back. Alright guys, so I am back. I'm out of the shower. I already started combing through my hair to make sure that I didn't have any tangles so my hair is kind of dry on this side. But this is what it's like when I come out of the shower. I give the pre-poo a yes because I could tell a difference in my hair uh, when I was washing it out. My hair was uh, it was soft, it had slip, it felt conditioned and soft. So I give the pre-poo a yes. The shampoo, it was okay. It didn't have a lot of slip in it. Um, it wasn't bad. It, it wasn't stripping my hair or anything, especially since I have this color in here. It wasn't stripping my hair or anything. So that was okay. Uh, the conditioner was good. I liked it. My hair felt uh, soft and conditioned. It had a lot of slip when I washed it out. It was okay. It's not the best conditioner, but it's not bad. If that makes any sense. So I'm going to start, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to start uh, styling my hair. I'm just going to do a wash and go. I've turned into a wash and go kind of girl because my hair takes a long time to dry. And when I have to get up and go to work in the mornings, that's not the best thing for me, especially being winter time. So I'm just going to moisten my hair a little bit. Since it's gotten kind of dry with me trying to set the camera back up. Spray a little water. This is just water from my extra bottle that I had. 
I'm gonna comb through, make sure that I don't have any tangles, and I don't. So that's good. And I'm going to start with the nourishing leave-in conditioner. It has shea, honey, coconut, and mango. It says it's good for straight 1B, 1C, wavy 2C, <coughs> excuse me, curly 3A, 3B, curly coily 3C, coily 4B slash C. So this has a wide range. Um of curl types, a wave pattern that can use this. So we are going to get it started. Put some in my hand. Right here. And they didn't send a styler. So I'm going to be using one of my own stylers that I already have because I feel like my hair with the color in it that it needs more moisture in it. Sometimes I do the whole uh, just leaving it in a some sort of gel, but I'm not gonna do that because like I said, it's winter and we don't want crunchy hair. So for the styler, I'm going to use my Eden's Body Work All Natural Curl Defining Cream. Get close so you can see that. This is one of my favorite hair creams because it's very moisturizing and it stays all day. You know how sometimes you put a styler in your hair and later the day, but later the next day or later in the same day, I don't put too much. Your hair feels dry. Well, this one doesn't do that. It keeps my hair nice and moisturized. I'm gonna work it all the way to the end. And I'm going to take my Demon brush and comb through it, or brush through it. Oh, I messed it off the water blind everywhere. So my hair feels good. It doesn't feel dry anymore. And I'm also going to use, I think my comb right here, the Hydra Jelly. Grab my towel too. In case I need to wipe my hands off. I'm also going to use the uh, Hydrating Jelly. It also has shea butter, coconut oil, chamomile, and sage. So I'm hoping this is going to help hold my wash and go. So this is what I'm going to use to put in. Put it 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 so I'm going to take my Demon brush again, brush through. So I'm not bad at all. Let me get closer where you can see what it's looking like. Also, when I do wash and go, I use a hair oil, and one of my favorite hair oils that I've been using is this uh, Corkscrew Curls the Red Velvet Hair Oil. Empty your mind. It's time for the hair oil. We have like five like in here. Now you put water, water into a cup. It becomes a cup. Be water, my friend. It has Baelbert tree oil. Baelbert, Baelbert. I'll show you. There you go. It's something funny when I 
I was getting out of the shower, I guess I was rushing, and I forgot to actually rinse, to rinse my hair out. So I was getting out of the shower, I got my hair so heavy, and I fell off like, girl, you should have conditioned yourself. So, that would have been bad once I was out. Anyway, put some oil, here's the amount of oil that I can use. So I rub my hands together. All the way from the root to the tips of my hair. Again, taking my Denman brush and brushing through. And this is pretty much it right here. I will, uh, okay. So this is pretty much it right here. I'll stand up again so you can see. That color is just popping, y'all, I swear. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Look in the mirror. Yeah, this is pretty much it. And this is what I'm gonna do to all the different sections of my hair. So I'll start on that. this hair out of the way. I had planned on actually doing my hair Friday or Saturday morning, but it didn't happen that way. Oh, I'm getting tangled up. This looks crazy. Okay. And I got so busy until um, I just didn't have the time but I'm determined to get my hair washed before I go back to work. Because if you're busy, if you're a mom and a wife, work, you know, it's work weeks are really busy. So sometimes it's hard to find time for yourself, right? Outside of in and out the shower or in and out the bath, brushing your teeth. Like the things that you can do really fast. So I was determined tonight to get it done. So I'm gonna wet my hair. Get it nice and damp again. Can you see that water? Then this one over there. Okay. Um, through. As such, we are going to take the leave-in. I'm going to use a little bit more because I'm using big sections. I'm not going to like those small sections of hair. So from the bottom, work my way up. Make sure I get every strand of hair. I'm going to take my comb. Like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Put it into a teapot, okay. it becomes the teapot. Then I'm going to take my styler. And guys, as you can see, I have fingernails. So, what I've learned to do is instead of normally how you scoop this way, I scoop backwards so it doesn't get under my fingernails. Seems to be quite helpful. You know how it is when you get product in your nails, it takes forever to like try to rinse it all and scrub it off from under there. Putting in my styler. And when you're doing a wash and go, you kind of want to use a little extra product. Maybe a little bit more than what you normally would use. Because at the end of this, I am going to uh, dry my hair. Because like I said, I can't wake up with wet hair, especially in this weather. That wouldn't be good. So, I'm going to comb or brush through really well. You guys, I promise you I'm not breaking my hair. I know it might sound like I'm like tearing up, but I promise you. I'm not. I'm not. 
Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Put it into a tea. Okay. Then I'm gonna take the jelly. Like I said, use a little bit more because I'm doing a bigger section. Work that through. Take my brush again. One of the big tests about that I find when I'm trying new products to see if they work, it's all good the day that you use it. Wait a minute, am I using it again? You know what? I think I might have used this already. I don't remember. Guess what? I think it's a But anyway, I think I did. I think it kind of went out of order, but that's okay. That's all right. We're going to keep this show going. Oh, that's what I was saying. One of the biggest things I've learned in trying new products is that it may do good the first day, but to me the true test is how your hair feels the next day. After you've been out, I'm putting my oil. After you've, after you've been out in the weather, be it hot, cold, sunny, windy, snow, heat, you really know how it does the next day because the products have really had a opportunity to soak in your hair really well so that's how I measure for products good it'll be good I've had products where I did really good the first day if I had somewhere to go I did a wash and go then the next one I woke up and my hair was crunchy 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 so okay here we go I got two sections done like I said, I'm just going to do this all over my head and I'm going to get up and, get and show you guys again how it looks. But it does, my hair does feel good though. So I'm going to keep on going. We're probably going to speed this, <coughs> excuse me, speed this video up Empty your mind. to save time. So enjoy the music. Like water. While it looks like I'm gone, I'm not gone. While it looks like I'm gone, 60 miles an hour. Um, I did most of my hair off camera because it was just a repetitive thing. So I'm going to finish this last little piece here with you. So one more, one more time. I'm going to spray with water. If your hair gets dry in your styling process, just give you some water handy. And I don't even have one of those fancy spray bottles that everyone has. Just it's an old bottle that I had the other stuff in that I just rinsed it out really well with hot water and hot soapy water and uh, just put water in. Probably should get one so I can be like the rest of the fancy YouTube girls. But we'll get there. Alright, so no tangles in my hair. Now we are going to add the leave-in. All the way down and you're gonna notice like in most of my videos I always mention I do the praying hands method to make sure it's all the way down and I low-key need to trim my hair I actually want to cut it but I think I have a big ass head <laughs> so, that's probably just wishful thinking so that'll probably never happen but I do need to get my hair trimmed need to find someone here that can do a really good job with natural hair and um, 
cook that up for me. I'm going to add my styler again, which is the Eden's Body Work Cream. Brush through it. So so far from this inspired by handmade by hand yeah made beautiful. Have I been saying handmade? It's made beautiful. I'm sorry, made beautiful. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um. Anyway, uh, my favorite things from the line so far is the um, the pre poo and this hydrating jelly. Watch what it does when I put it in my hair. It just melts into my hair. Put some in, work it through, and like as soon as I put it in, it just like melts right in. Kind of brush through it, and look how easy that is. Just brushing right through. Then I'm going to finish with my corkscrew red velvet oil. And I swear guys, this oil was just bomb. I'm kind of getting low on it, so I do need more of that because that is one of my favorite staple oils. But now we're just going to brush through. And for some reason, I don't know, uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you have different textures in your hair, like the, my left side, the curls are a lot looser than the right side, then the back going down in my crown, it's a little more kinkier, the uh, curls are really tight, so... I don't know if any of you have that same issue, but I do have several textures in my hair, so sometimes it can be a challenge, but once you figure it out, it's all good. So here we have it. So if it was earlier in the day, I probably, probably would just let my hair air dry for a good while before I dried it, but it is, I think it's probably gone on 8 o'clock. I left my phone so I wouldn't be bothered in my bedroom. So, I'm sure I have a million text messages and calls, but anyway. So, it's pretty late in the evening. So, I am going to dry my hair, but right now I will say uh, these products are pretty good. Like I said, my favorite and the line seems to be the hydrating jelly and the pre-poo, the conditioner, shampoo is okay. Um, the leave-in is pretty good as well. I do like the leave-in conditioner. Um, I am going to try the uh, curly temple balm, but that probably won't be until tomorrow when I'm getting ready for work. So I'll let you guys know about that and maybe the cold wash later on. But this baby right here, the hydrating jelly. I suggest you go out and get you some. Here it is. So made beautiful. You got a banger right here. So this is my hair. I'm going to show you. This is my hair. This is the side that still look more damp. This side here, you know, already started drying a little bit. But my hair does feel soft. My curls feel good. Nothing feels dry. So what I am about to do is dry my hair. So hold on. I have a diffuser. I think I may have left it in Louisiana at my mom's house. So I'm just going to use this concentrator right here. This is just your basic hair dryer. I don't even know what brand. I don't even know what brand this is. I don't know. Anyway, you want you want to dry your hair on low heat. 
Um, you don't want to use a high heat because you're going to really dry your hair out. You don't want to damage your hair because I do kind of tug it just a little bit to kind of stretch it a little bit to kind of help because you know the shrinkage is real when you are natural. So like I said, just use a low heat because you're going to kind of tug a little bit with the for, uh, tension and uh, let's get started. Empty your mind, be formless, shape like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. What do you tea on? Alright guys, I am back with the final results. It's actually Tuesday. I know I was supposed to come back yesterday and show you guys, but Monday just was really busy, so sorry. But the good thing is this is two-day hair. Look at this. This is two-day hair, so that shows you how good the products are. So, in review, really quick, it is the Inspired by Made Beautiful. The pre-poo conditioner is a yes. The nourishing leave-in conditioner is a yeah. But honey, this hydrating jelly, let me put this down. This, my hair, I wish you could feel it through the screen. My hair is so soft. Look at this. Wait a minute, I look crazy. Let me try this again. <laughs> look. Oh, 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 oh. It's soft and fluffy with just a little bit of cold. You just want a little, unless you have a specific style you're going for. I don't like a lot of like cold because, you know, you get a lot of buildup. But this hydrating jelly. Like water. Is So these products get two thumbs up and a swirl. And a swirl. And a swirl. Yes. I love it. So thank you for making it to the end of the video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and share this video. Help me get my numbers up, guys. Also, I am wearing Glam her tees, natural you. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? I will put the link down below for you guys to check it out. Again, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll be back with more. Bye.